So will I be buying the Phantom 5 when it finally arrives? Well that depends on whether it can offer something unique. I've bought dozens of DJI products over the last few years. And the only time I've ever bought a brand new product is when it was able to offer me something that I couldn't do before. For instance, when this little chap came along in 2016, I was quick to slam down my 1100 pound because no one else had offered us this level of ultra portability. But it's also the reason why there's no Mavic Air or Spark here because they just didn't offer anything that different to what the Mavic Pro could offer. The same thing was true in 2014 when DJI gave us the opportunity to get stabilised aerial GoPro footage with a brand new Phantom 2. However, since then, this Phantom 3 and Phantom 4 were purchased second hand because the progression of things like better cameras, longer flight times, more stability and reliability, they weren't new, they were only improvements on what had gone before. Even this Inspire 2 I bought second hand because the superior image quality and better choices of lens weren't worth the original £7,000 price tag that DJI was offering it for, especially to a young company like mine. But at £4,000, well now that's an entirely different prospect. And also, for me as a fledgling company, my primary focus has always been on the art of storytelling. And then second to that are the tools that are used to do it. Because my clients don't care how many megabits per second I'm shooting. They don't care about dynamic range. They don't even care about what shutter speed, frame rate or ISO I'm using. All they care about is that I tell their story in an engaging way and get their message across. So it never made sense to me to shell out the large amounts of money required for the latest iteration unless it could offer me a brand new way to tell a story. And that doesn't just go for drones either. I got myself a hoverboard when they came out so I could get these shots at the Francis Crick Institute in London. Although I did adapt mine to make sure it wouldn't blow up before using it inside a brand new 400 million pound building. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that video out. So you may well ask, if that's the case, why all the drones? Well the answer is simple, it's because I love these little flying cameras, I love the flexibility of them, I love what you can do with them, I love it that companies are finding more innovative ways of using them. I'm just not prepared to pay DJI's innovation premium for something that's not that different to the last one. Especially when all I have to do is sit back and wait for someone to sell me the latest drone on eBay at half the original price. My drones are also work quite hard. I mean, look at the state of this Phantom 3. It needs a bit of TLC, but they get worked hard. And if I get a failure, I need a backup drone to get the job done. So will I be buying the next Phantom 5 or not? Well, if it comes with interchangeable lenses and it can get close enough in quality to this bad boy, then I just might. But if it's another Phantom 4 Pro Plus Plus, then I'll wait a few months until someone's is gathering dust on a shelf and they chuck it on eBay with all the others. So what do you think? Will the new Phantom 5 be worth the premium you'll have to pay to get DJI's latest and greatest? Or are you going to sit back for a couple of months and clean up on eBay? So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave a comment, subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye.